Hey guys, over the years there's been a number of things I've wanted to test or experiment with and today we're going to hot swap a drive in a Dell T110 server. So one of the things that Dell and other server manufacturers do is restrict their entry level servers to have uh, nothing uh, hot swap, no hot swap power supplies, no hot swap drives. But according to Wikipedia, every SATA drive or SATA host system is hot swappable by design. So today we're going to test if Wikipedia is actually right. Okay, before opening up the case and removing the drive, we're going to log into Open Manage on the server and check out the status of the uh, drives right now. At this point, all the drives are healthy and I've also cleared the alert log, so any new changes will be easy to spot. All right, case is open. Intrusion LED is flashing. And server still running. Here we go. SATA connector out. No sparks, no smoke. Let's remove the uh, drive completely out. And it looks like server still running. We are back in Open Manage now, and I'm going to uh, refresh so we can see all the uh, new alerts that have been generated. And we can see that everything is reported as it happened. We have the chassis intrusion detected. Uh, link lost between the drive, uh, physical disk removed, virtual disk degraded, and redundancy lost. So these are all the standard messages you would see if the drive was actually a hot swap drive. And if we look at the serial number here, it matches exactly with the drive that we just pulled out. Now to complete our testing, we just need to reinsert the drive and reconnect the SATA connector. And the server still looks like it's running fine. So let's close up the case. Intrusion detection LED is off. So let's go back into open manage. I'm going to refresh the alert log and we can see the same things that happened before when we pulled out the drive happened again but in this time in reverse order so everything finishes up with us closing the chassis at the very top. Now the drive is detected but it's detected in a degraded state uh, so it starts rebuilding and this can take you know anywhere from a uh, a few hours to a day depending on uh, what kind of drive size you have. We can see the uh, progress here at uh, 1% and then again here at 10% and finally the uh, drive is uh, fully back online so it, it took a while a few hours but it eventually it completed rebuilding without any problems. So it looks like Wikipedia is correct. A SATA is hot swappable by design. So even in servers, I thought that feature wasn't available. It looks like it works. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more of these types of videos, let me know.